Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hacked here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you are doing good. So let us continue this particular one that is HTTP request smuggling labs. Okay, so till now we have solved three particular labs, one is uh, CLTE and TECL and then TETE. And now let us get deep into this and find out what other labs we have. We have something called finding HTTP request smuggling vulnerability. Let us open this and uh, here we have something called uh, timing techniques. So how to find HTTP request smuggling vulnerability using timing techniques and unfortunately we don't have any labs for this particular timing technique. But uh, yeah, I'll take some time and uh, explain you what it is exactly. So now here we have something a request. Okay, so this is a request. So in this request, this is basically CLTE. So content length is considered in the front end. So here we have the content length it, and it says 4. So when it says 4, it is still here only. Okay. So X won't be included. So basically here this is not X. This is something a different content that we are giving. And that won't be considered as the content length is specified as 4. So this request will go to the front end server. Okay. And uh, now the same request will go to the backend server as well. Okay. So backend server. So when it goes to the backend server, the backend server sees that it is chunked. Okay. That means there is a proper syntax for this uh, chunked content. That is first we need to have the uh, length of the content in hexa. And then we need to have the content. And then we need to have something called zero for terminating. But if you can see, so this is only the request that is going for the to the for backend server, and uh, uh, there is no zero for terminating at at the end. So now what ha what is happening is that the backend server will be waiting for one more request, and there won't be any request. We won't send any request again. So it will be a time delay there, and this is called the timing technique. And here we can confirm that this is a CLTE vulnerability. Okay, so uh, there will be a time delay from the backend as the backend is expecting for one more request. So one request is already sent and it is uh, expecting for one more request, uh, but uh, it won't be sent. It won't be sent. Okay, so here we will get some time delay and there is one more thing here and here we have uh, one more uh, one more uh, way that is uh, TLCE. Okay, so let us find out what it is. Now in this uh, TLC, the front-end server is considering the uh, TECL, uh, the front-end server is considering transfer encoding and the back-end server considering is uh, uh, content length. Okay, so now what, what is happening is that in the, for the front-end server, we said that here we have a chunk of data, but we are terminating it right here. So the front-end server will only consider this part of request. Okay. Uh, so this is ignored. This particular one is ignored. And now when this goes to the backend server, the backend server will consider this content length. All right. So content length is six, but we don't have uh, six characters of data or six bytes of data, uh, data right here. Okay. So we don't have something like that. So now what backend server will do is it will wait for the next request to come and add here something like let's say the next request is uh, something like this okay so this next request it, it is just waiting for the next request to come but the reality is the next request doesn't come so there will be there will be a time delay here so this is called a timing technique that uh, you know uh, uh, we can find out uh, uh, whether the front end server uh, whether the HTTP is request smuggling is possible or not Okay, so this is one more technique to find out. All right, then. Uh, so we saw two different uh, one. One is uh, uh, TL, uh, sorry, uh, CETL and the other one is uh, uh, TECL. All right. So let us go further and uh, find out any different labs we have. We let us solve those labs. Okay. So here we go. We have something called conforming HTTP request smuggling vulnerability using differential response. Okay. And uh, uh, it's a differential response. Uh, basically, it is the extension of the previous labs that we have done. Uh, just a very, very simple extension. Let us try to solve this particular lab. 
make sure your uh, proxy is turned on to burp and make sure you have the burp suit turned on and uh, this lab involves a front end and back end server and the front end server does not support chunked encoding uh, all right so that means uh, the front end server is uh, cl to solve the lab smuggle a request to the back end server so that a subsequent request okay triggers 404 uh, not found response all right let us try to open this without any delay all right we have the lab here so here it says uh, we need to trigger a 404 uh, not found error so when will we get this 404 not found oh who clicked on this all right uh, let me go back to home okay right when will we get this 404 not found so when we ask the server for something which is not present within the server so let's say hm cyber academy so this is something that i am asking and the server doesn't have the information of this particular directory okay directory or page or whatever you say okay so i'm hitting enter and now we will get a 404 not found error so it says not found okay let us go to the http history here and if you can see the status code is 404 it says 404 and here we have we are we were asking for the http uh, sorry uh, uh, hm cyber academy and in the same way uh, if we are asking for this this one or anything which is not present within the server then uh, we will definitely get a 404 error okay so it is asking so the lab is asking us to trigger this particular error okay this particular error all right so let us go further and let us try to solve the lab so here we have that particular request this is a successful request let me take this to the repeater go here and as usual the first thing what we need to do is we need to change this particular one to http1 the protocol and we need to right click and change the request method i know we can we can just edit this get to post but uh, there will be some additional headers we need to include but if we directly click on this that will include these two uh, headers which are content uh, type and content length because uh, the post request has some kind of body will have some kind of body and that's the reason we are targeting for the post request all right then so so the front end server is content length okay so whatever whatever data we provide that that data should be i mean uh, the length of that content should be completely here then only the front end server will accept it okay we will specify that content length completely here now the point is let us concentrate on the back end server that is that is concentrating on con uh, the transfer encoding okay so the transfer encoding so here uh, uh, let let me put something uh, uh, what I want to do is I just want to end the uh, transfer encode right here itself. Okay. I mean the ch the chunk right here itself. Okay. So that uh, uh, the backend server will consider till here as the first request and the rest of the thing is the next request. Okay. So just hit on enter again enter and provide get sorry get and uh, I am giving a 404 uh, page here to get and HTTP slash 1.1 and hit enter and let us give something called uh, uh, X ignore okay so this is something just just to ignore okay so just like that we have given we are giving just to ignore this all these things uh, right okay so we have something called 404 here and now we what we have to do is we need to uh, 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 specify the content length and before that content length let us give the transfer encoding because the backend server is considering the transfer encoding transfer encoding chunked okay sorry c h and we don't want to see here sorry for the spelling mistake all right so this is the uh, one what we want to give uh, so now what is happening uh, the content length uh, uh, the let us update this content length uh, just i mean uh, it will automatically update because here the update content length is uh, turned on all right so we don't have to uh, finger with this particular number so the front end server is content length so now the content length is up will be getting updated completely here 
all right so now what is happening so the front end server will accept the content length and the whole request will be sent to the back end server now the back end server is considering the transfer encoding and here we have the zero and what is happening now it is considering this zero and it is thinking that there is no particular no data uh, be, uh below this one okay or there is uh, the rest of the data doesn't uh, belong to this particular request so now what is happening the the back end server will consider the request till here only and uh, the next part of the request will be going and sitting on the next uh, one's head okay let me just copy this and where is this and paste it here and now again i am pasting the request and now this is how the back end server is going to look like a back end server is considering the request so till here this is the first request and then from here this is the second request and if you can see it is asking for a for get and we are providing something called 404 as this is not there it will give a 404 uh, error okay so let me hit on send here and just have a look here the content length got updated to 35 and let again hit on send and now if you can see we have a 404 a not found error and most probably i think the lab should be solved okay congratulations the lab has been solved uh, all right so uh, the lab has been solved and you understood everything about uh, this particular uh, model okay let us uh, try to understand uh, this particular one as we don't have any lab for this thing all right so this is uh, cetl all right so we don't have any lab for this thing so that uh, let us try to understand the this technique okay i am pasting this one as it is okay control c and uh, let me paste it here control v okay so i am pasting it like this and um, uh, here the content length i am specifying as uh, 4 all right and i am changing this update content length uh, and uh, now the front end server will cons will only consider till here and uh, this request will be completely ignored okay both by the content length and the uh, sorry both by the front end server and the back end server because this request is not going this particular body is not going and the content length is specified as 4 only this thing is going to the back end server okay so now let me hit on send and now see there is uh, we are not getting the response back here okay so and after a particular time we will get something called a time delay or something okay so here it says internal server error okay so communication timeout it seems the reason is the backend server is waiting to get this particular chunk data terminated when will it get terminated it will get terminated only if we have a zero at lost so this is the reason why uh, you know the uh, i mean uh, this is the reason behind the communication type communication uh, timeout okay so this is how simple uh, i have tried to explain okay i'll try to uh, uh, give this example in the next lab uh, which is uh, we have to solve this particular one the sorry this is the one so tlce so let let me try to give the particular example the next example in this uh, tlce one okay anyway until then congratulations you have solved the lab and have a great day bye bye